Hello there and welcome. One of these shrimps is not like the other. One of these shrimps has a parasite living in it. If you look at the rest of these shrimps, they are all really healthy cleaner shrimps. There's one though, which harbors a dirty secret. And that is this shrimp here. If you look on the side of it, it has a bulge. And inside of this bulge, there is a parasite living in him sucking his hemolith, which is his blood. So we are going to take it out. Because if we leave this in this little guy, what's going to happen is it's going to suck his blood out and it's going to reduce his longevity and actually make his life a living hell. So inside of that little bulge on the side of this shrimp is a botrid isopod. And these are very common pests on Lysmata shrimp, normally on peppermints, but you also get them quite commonly on these cleaner shrimps. Now they have a very specialized life cycle, which means that they have an intermediate host between this cleaner shrimp and being a free swimming uh, larva. They actually have an intermediate host of a free swimming copepod. So if you have this in your aquarium, you can't really get it to spread unless you've got lots of these free swimming copepods, which most people don't because the fish eat them. But these will actually reduce the stress tolerance of your cleaner shrimp and they will also be taking about 10% of the shrimp's energy away every day, um, which means it can't really grow as fast or be as healthy as the non-parasitized cleaner shrimps. So we're going to do them a favor and remove it. It's really easy to do. You have to be very careful not to damage the shrimp. So all you really need to do is get a pair of fine tweezers. Get the shrimp like so. Now, as long as you handle the shrimp very carefully, keep the shrimp underwater. So as long as you get your tweezers carefully, you can lift up the flap, get into the isopod, and it hasn't got a very good hold on the shrimp normally. And look, you can see it's coming away. And there we have it. So now the shrimp is parasite free. So here is that isopod. Tiny little thing. But it's removed. Now it's important to actually remove these quite quickly if you're doing this in Vinyu Aquarium, just because um, when they get pulled out, they have an automatic response of releasing all their eggs, um, which again, probably wouldn't be a problem, but it's best not to take chances. So here's the shrimp fully parasite free. Now the next couple of molts that bulge should disappear. They don't always but generally the molt will cure the bulge. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this kind of content. Once again thanks for watching and happy fish keeping!